A car engine with a power output of 180 horsepower has a thermal efficiency of 30%. Determine the rate of fuel consumption if the heating value of the fuel is 19,500 BTU per pound mass. As usual, pause here and try solving this problem yourself before watching the solution. This is the first example for the second law intro and power cycles main lecture. The link to that 10 minute lecture and all the other examples and lectures of the thermo course are found in the description below. The examples for this topic are all pretty straightforward. For this case, remember that the heating value is the amount of energy in the form of heat that can be obtained from combusting one unit of mass, in this case a pound mass. We're being told that we can obtain 19,500 BTU per one pound of mass that we burn. This means that the rate of fuel consumption will be equal to the rate of heat that the car needs over the heating value. If the rate of heat is in BTU per hour, then this mass rate is in pounds per hour, which are indeed the units for mass flow rate. Now the heat that the car's engine requires to output 180 horsepower, or what is the same, 458,100 BTU per hour, will be much more than that output because the engine is only 30% efficient. Therefore, if efficiency is net output work over input heat in rates, the heat rate would be the net output work over the efficiency. We substitute the power and the efficiency to get the heat rate, and we substitute this value in our first expression to find that the mass flow rate needs to be 78.3 pound mass per hour for the car to produce 180 horsepower. If you want to check out other examples for power cycles and efficiency, make sure to check out the links I left down in the description below. You'll also find the links to the other lectures of the thermodynamics course as well as other engineering courses. Thanks for watching.